graphene again it is what draw a little bit diagram of graphene follicle now important things to note in what a graphene follicle is so external theca internal theca theca external theca internal inner membrane of interna will be basement membrane okay now it has follicular cells so cover it by a follicular cells known as membrana granulosa or follicular cells then inside comes clumpus ufus now this cavity over here is known as follicular antrum or follicular cavity inside that cavity we have got corona radiata which is made up of granulosa cells inside corona, corona radiata we have got nucleus or germinal vesicle and now there is this primary oocyte covering primary oocyte we have got this membrane known as zona pellucida okay students now let's start drawing this okay so let's start this is our external okay so this is what theca externa now we need to make an interna so this is our theca interna done okay label this as like this label this as interna so that you can label this portion as basement membrane now going ahead so we are done with 1 2 3 membrane granulosa membrana granulosa so granules means small small particles so start making them they should be okay wait they should it should look something like students please be conceptually right and don't be too artistic but that doesn't mean you don't make it a neat diagram huh? okay so i guess we done with our granular memory okay we are done i guess okay so membrana Granu closa, we are done. Now, this is clumpus ufus. This structure. So let's make that. I guess we are done. So this is our clumpus ufus. Okay. Now we have got follicular antrum. This will be which side of it? So this will be corona radiata. Okay, two layers. Remember, make two layers of these things. Okay, students, is this clear? Are you guys with me? Okay. So I'm coloring this to show this. Uh, new cellus. This is your new cellus. Okay. Now, follicular antrum. 
follicular antrum. This is your corona radiator. So that is done. Mucellus. Mucellus is done. And lastly, the outer covering is known as sona pellucida. Okay, students? I guess we are done. Yeah, we are done. And this is our secondary oocyte. Students, remember, this is a very easy diagram. But you need to remember all the labels. Okay, so we are done. And lastly, right. Follicle. Okay, so we are done with our question number 14.